Uh, we are a family-owned dental practice. Uh, we started the practice 10 years ago. The heart of our business is dentistry, of course, because that's really what we do. Um, I am a second-generation dentist, so my dad was a dentist. What drives me and drives me every day is to take care of people. There are so many people out there who are afraid to come to the dentist. And so I'm trying to remove the obstacles so that we can have as many healthy people as possible. That's the goal, right? Being a primary care provider for the people in our community is, you know, I love that part of it. I love being able to, to just really take care of people. At the center of our business is people. And we've always tried to view what happens within our dental practice is taking care of people. So I think every one of my patients knows if they need me, I'm there for them. They can reach me on the weekends, they can reach me when I'm standing right there. You know, I will stop and take the time to take to meet their needs. And you know, it's amazing when people know that you'll do that, they're gonna they're gonna relax, they're gonna be comfortable, they're you know, they're gonna say, I'm in good hands and I may not know exactly about what she's doing exactly, but I know it's gonna be okay. And that's what matters. Many years before I started the company, people always said, yeah, it'd be great to own your own business, be your own boss and everything. And I never really saw it that way. And now that I am a business owner, I wouldn't wish on anybody. It's hard work. Uh, long hours, uh, always being responsible for everybody. You think being a business owner, you don't have any bosses. I've got a lot of bosses. I'm responsible to all my customers. I'm responsible to all my employees to make sure they have employment and take care of them. Uh, so it's really the opposite of that. Um, I guess that's part of my passion in the business is actually making sure I can provide for my employees, make sure they have a living. I've got 14 employees now, so they're really important to me. Uh, also, all of our customers we have have a very high responsibility I have to make sure they're taken care of as well. Uh, we start off pretty humble like a lot of small businesses do. We start off out of my house. I started with a three-bedroom house, turned into a two-bedroom house with an office. There was a one-bedroom house with an office and a stock room. Then I lost my basement, my backyard, my storage shed, and I had three trucks parked in the front yard. Then finally last year we uh, made the bold move to actually buy a property, and it was a uh, double the square footage of what we had before. So we moved to the 3,000 square foot building and added 4,000 square feet onto it. So uh, we're pretty proud of our new location we have there. So all of our installers, our direct employees, most companies I compete with use subcontractors, which means they find somebody that has a truck and a drill to make them installer that day. We have all of our own people. They're all bright yellow trucks. You notice them when they're coming. They're all uniform. They're clean cut people. They've been background checked, including drug screens. So we have good people come into your house. They're licensed, they're insured, and um, we make sure they have the proper training and tools. We decided to get certification and some things that weren't really required in the industry. We actually went out and took a lot of training classes to become the only CDS certified designer in the city of Luebo. One Vision Federal Credit Union actually began in 1954 as a parish credit union. And over the years we've evolved into a community credit union. What I'm most passionate about with One Vision and with credit unions in general is our not-for-profit status. At this point, we're still a very small fish in a great big pond, but we're excited about where we're going. We have great leaders on our volunteer board of directors. Our CEO, Pam Goodman, is taking us in all the right directions, and we're evolving into the credit union we were always meant to be. We care about our people. We're still small enough to have those individual conversations on a daily basis figure out what they need financially and help them rise above the struggles they're having. We like to cater to the youth in the community and we actually have five micro branches of our credit union inside elementary schools and the students actually run those branches. It's our way of giving back to the school system, to the community, to teach the children about financial responsibility. We at the credit union are also focused on being a part of Think Local Southern Indiana. More and more as I have conversations and network out in the business community, people are starting to say, you know, well I want to deal with local people. Everyone can agree that it's been tough financial times the last few years. We've worked really hard to help our members. We want to grow because we're gaining all those new relationships. and. We want to be their financial partner, not just the place where they have their checking account. 